What questions should you ask on a podcast? Now you're thinking to yourself, if you're a podcast host, then you're going to be having guests that come onto your show. And when you're having guests to come onto your show, you might be thinking, what questions should I be asking this podcast guest? And the way that I started off is I always think to myself, okay, I want to interview this individual. They have a very cool and unique background where as well that I think that I want to think about what can my audience learn from this podcast guest and what would my audience want to know? So take it for our podcast, REI Marketing Secrets. On our podcast, we're typically interviewing folks within the real estate investment space. It could be someone that is a syndicator, a sponsor, an operator. A lot of times I'm trying to understand why do they do what they do? What can the expected returns can be? What does investing with them look like? And then outside of that, I might bring on someone that's strictly a passive investor like myself. So when I'm thinking through the lens of what would I want to know when I'm interviewing a syndicator, it's going to be, again, their asset class. How long have they been in business? Why they chose that asset class over all the other asset classes? What does it look like what they're currently doing? What do the returns look like? What does the communication look like? All these different questions that a passive investor would want to ask. Now, on the flip side, for those folks that are past investors like myself, but they're more experienced, they've been in more deals, how can they provide value to our audience? I want to talk to them about how they got started, how they've built up their cash flow. Are they doing cash flow? Are they doing more equity plays? Are there any certain asset classes that they don't want to invest in? And then just trying to provide as much value and knowledge that I can get from the guests to provide to our audience. And the way that I typically start this off is I'll have the guests go over their background. How do they get into real estate investing, whether they are a sponsor, syndicator, or operator, or whether they're a passive investor? So I want to know that. <clears throat> so they'll go into the background. They'll talk about how they got started. From there, I want to dive into like their expertise and their insights. Like Again, just going back to what I talked about before, just trying to extract as much information from them as I can that will be provided to our audience. So some things might be like, where do you see the real estate market going in 2024 and into 2025? What are some of the predictions that you think are going to happen? So ask some questions about that. And the way that I sort of structure it is I have a set list of questions that I have, very similar to what I talked about earlier in, in the podcast. And if you're watching this on YouTube, where I dive into their background, why they chose a specific asset class. Let's say someone is invest, interested in investing with them. What does that look like? Once someone has invested with them, now what does that look like? How often does the communication last? Why should someone invest with their company? So I typically have a list of these same sort of it's like eight or 10 questions or so that I have set aside for every single podcast guest, but this is more specifics for your sponsor, operator, syndicator. So I want to make them different and do a little bit more research on the guest prior to me doing an interview if they're not, if they don't fall into that bucket. So I have those list of questions that, you know, usually default, they're like my go-to questions. If I'm in an interview, I forget what I was going to say. I can just grab one of those questions and I can ask the podcast guest one of those questions. What I like to do is I like to do a deep dive into their background. So I'll take a listen to an episode or two that they've done. I'll take a look at their website. I'll take a look if they provided a one sheet, take a look at their background and just take all in this information and then just write down questions that I just have myself and questions that I think that our audience would want to know. So if I'm interviewing a turnkey real estate investor, I want to know what markets are you investing in? Are you going in the Southeast? Are you going in the Midwest? Are there certain states that you don't invest in? What does a minimum investment look like for a turnkey investor? Some of these houses are 50,000. Some of these are 400,000. Is it 20% down? Is it seller financing? Are there other creative financing options? And, you know, as you start to go through, you start to, really understand the guest and it starts to bring out questions from there. And I like to write those down as well. And then even then, sometimes when you're on a podcast and you're interviewing a guest, these things come up and it's just like, you just, it, the conversation goes where it wants to go. There's been times interviewing guests where I have 15 questions lined up, super excited to ask them. And we dive deep on just three of them and then just follow up things come out throughout the conversation that I could have never predicted. On the contrary, I've had guests on the show where I have these 10, 15 questions lined up and they answer it in 30 seconds to a minute. And there's just not a lot of meat and potatoes to ask them. They're not telling a lot of stories. They're not sharing a lot of insights. 
it's kind of painstaking to be honest. And I'm just trying to get through the interview, but at least I had those questions to ask him and use that as a safe haven for myself. What I like to do on the podcast too, is if it comes to it and you're really looking for some questions, additional questions you can ask them, what are they looking to do next? Are they looking to scale their company? Are they looking to sell their company? Are they looking to retire? Just different questions that you can ask them. And then the easy staple is, do you have any books that you can recommend? Do you have any podcasts that you can recommend? I don't ask those questions on our podcast, but I know it's a common theme within the podcasting space to ask those two questions. And it's very easy, at least within the real estate investment space, because a lot of folks are always listening to podcasts and they're always reading books. So they're going to conferences. So it makes it easy by asking them the recommendations that they have. But I found for me was I had these questions. I had my first interview or two. And I was like, oh, I don't want to ask that question. Oh, I should ask this question before I ask that question because one leads into another. And I don't want to ask someone, you know, what are they looking to do next? And then how do they get started? You know, it, the order doesn't go perfect. So I found that the more interviews I did, the better I got at asking these questions. And that's what I recommend for you is you to go out there and just start interviewing guests on your podcast. And because of that, you'll start to get a better idea of, okay, yeah, I want to ask this question. And one question I ask is, or I, I asked early on in the beginning is why should someone invest with your company? Well, a lot of the times when they're going over the background, they'll say I've been in X business five, 10, 15 years. We have 500 million assets, billion in assets, whatever that number may be. We provide X amount of you know, return. And you know, I start to realize like they just went over their whole background and why they're successful as they are. I, I don't really feel the need now I have to go back and ask them why should someone invest with their company. Sometimes I might, sometimes I might not just depending on how they answer that question. So you don't have to stick to the script on every single interview. And what I would also recommend is that when you're asking these questions on a podcast, yes, I have these set questions that I have to my side that I'm going to go through and I'm going to read. But I'm not going to have the guest answer a question and then I just go right to the next question unless that's sort of the end of that topic and we're moving on to the next subject. I don't want to just pepper them with questions. It's easy to do that when you're first starting off as a podcast host, but it gets a lot easier the more that you do it, the more guests that you have, the more interviews that you do. You're going to get better at asking questions. But I hope today's podcast episode, if you're listening, if you're, <clears throat> if you're watching on YouTube, I hope this YouTube video was helpful for you, but hopefully that'll give you some ideas on the different questions that you can ask on a podcast.